Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we are uh, discussing about uh, the applications of stack. So the applications of stack are the infix to postfix expression. I mean, the way, where the stack is being used, right? So stack is being used in, uh, in the process of converting the infix, pro, infix expression to postfix expression and also in evaluation of postfix expression and uh, balancing the parentheses and uh, so on right so among these we have already discussed about the first one that is uh, the conversion of infix expression to postfix expression so in today's session we will go with the second one that is how to evaluate the postfix expression and how the stack is being used in the process of evaluating the postfix expression evaluation of postfix expression right so here also there are some rules to be followed while uh, evaluating this uh, postfix expression the first one is uh, here uh, only one stack is used so only stack is used And here we will store the operands in the stack, not the operators. So coming to this infix to postfix expression, we are uh, pushing the operators but not the operands. Here the completely reverse, we will push the operands but not the operators. So this is called operand stack. This is called operand stack. That means it consists of only operands or symbols, right? So other than operators. Now let us see the first step. So here also we have to start reading each and every character of the postfix expression. So if the character is an operand if the character the reading character is an operand then push into stack so first uh, if the character is an operand then simply push into the stack next if the character is an operator if the character is an operator pop top two operands from the stack and push the result back into stack right so if the character is an operator then pop top two operands from the stack and push the result back into the stack so then last one so after reading all the characters from the postfix Stack will be having only the value 
which is the result. So after successful reading all the characters from the postfix expression, then the stack will be having only one value that will be the result of the postfix expression. Okay. So this is a very simple, there is no uh, uh, comparisons of uh, the precedence of operators. Simply read a character from the postfix expression. If it is a operand, simply operand or a number or anything else, right? Simply other than operator, simply push that into the stack. And then if it is an operator, then uh, remove the two topmost two elements from the stack and perform this operation and then send the push the result back into stack. See, oh, I, I skipped it here. Two operands from the stack. Perform calculation. So perform calculation and push the result into a uh, back into the stack right so let us see the example so that your doubts will be clarified right? now so this is called an operand stack because here in our stack we are storing only the operands not the operators right example let us see that example See, this is an example. This is a postfix expression. So now, how to calculate this postfix expression? See, first, we can write here character stack. First, five. So simply it is an operand. So simply push into the stack. Five. Okay. Now six. Again, we have to push into the stack because it is an operand. Five. Six. Next two. It is also an operand, simply push it to the stack. So now our stack is having three elements. Right. Next, star. What we have to do? We have to remove the two elements from the stack. What are the two elements in this from the stack? Two and six. Two and six. So see. Observe carefully, first remove the 2 and next remove the 6 and write the 6 on left hand side of the 2, right? So 6, apply the star, apply the star. So how much? It is 12. So again push back into the stack. 5, 12. Okay, hope you understood. So first pop the element, first top element, 2. And then pop the element and write the element left hand side to the top of the element, right? So 2 and left hand side, 6. So 6 into 2, 12. 12 and 5. And a plus. Next one is plus. So again pop the element 12. Pop the element 5. Perform the operator plus is equal to 17. So push back into the stack. Right. Here we have completed reading all the characters of a postfix expression. So final output of this postfix expression is whatever the element which is available in the stack that is 17. Right. So this is the output for the given postfix expression. Right. So hope you understood this one. A simple simple logic. So only one thing we have to remember while we are uh, removing or uh, popping the element from the stack. 
so write down the first and uh, second second element first and first element next right or simply for pop the first element and pop the second element place uh, uh, at the left side of the first element and apply the operations okay so if, if you are doing the subtraction the problem will be raised so because uh, 6 minus 2 will be something 2 by 6 will be there right this is 4 and this is minus 4 so so in such cases in the subscribe uh, subtraction you will get a, some uh, mistake right so that's why you have to use this logic okay right so let us take one more example with the subscribe uh, subtraction so your doubts will be clarified once and then we will write up Four, three, two, five, star minus plus. Okay. So this is the postfix expression given. Now we have to uh, find out the evaluation. After evaluation, what will be the result? So let us take here the character the stack. Okay. Now first four. So Consider a stack with 4. Consider a stack with 4. 3. Consider a stack with the 2 elements 4, 3. Next to 2. Consider a stack with 4, 3, 2. 5. Consider a stack with 4 elements 4, 3, 2, 5. Okay. Now, star. Star. So, pop the elements. So, what we have to pop? 5, 2, star is equal to 10. Right? So, first pop the element 5, pop the element 2 and place it on the left hand side. So, 2 into 5, 10. So, push back into the stack. So, 10, 3, Four. Okay, hope you understood this one. So first two elements we have performed the uh, multiplication operator. The first two elements. Okay, then minus minus. What we have to do? So we have to pop the elements from the stack. So ten three place the three on the left hand side. Right. Three minus ten and apply the minus operation. Is equal to minus. 7 is equal to minus 7. So push back into the stack. So minus 7 and a 4. Okay. So I hope you understood this one. So first pop the element, pop the second element and based on the place on the left side, right? 3 minus 10 is equal to minus 7. Now the stack consists of two elements minus 7 and 4, and there is a one more operator called plus. So character and a stack. So plus. So automatically again read the elements minus seven four. Okay, minus seven and four addition operation. That is equal to minus three. Push that push that element into the stack. So minus three minus three. Right? So, there are no more uh, characters to be read from the postfix ex uh, expression. Right? So, here we have completed reading all the characters from the postfix expression. So, whatever the element which is available in the stack will be the answer. That means, how is this? Minus 3. So, this evaluation, after evaluating this my postfix expression, the value will be minus 3. Right? So, hope you understood this one. So, let us take one more example and we will wind up. A simple Procedure for uh, evaluating the postfix expression. So, in such case, we are also using the stack. So, that's why we call it as an application of a stack. Right. So, let us take an example. One, one more example. See. 5, 4, 6 plus star 4, 9, 3 divided by plus and start. 
see this is an example let us take okay so five okay five it is an operand push it into here so let us write here character stack okay next four consider the stack five and four next six five four six plus so remove that so that means uh, six and four uh, apply the operation plus that is equal to 10 push back into the stack 10 and 5 10 and 5 okay right. next star star so again here also push pop the element 10 and pop the element 5 apply the star is equal to 50 so the result that will be 50 okay next I will write here character and the stack. Okay. Next. Four. So already in the stack there is an element called 50 and now four. Next. Nine. 50, four, nine. Three. 50. Four, nine, three. Okay. Now division. Division. So for division, so first pop first element. Next pop the second element and place it on the left hand side. So nine divided by three is equal to three. So and again push that into the stack, right? So fifty, four, and three. Three elements are available in the stack. Okay. Next plus. Plus. So pop the element. Pop the second element. Keep, keep it on the left side. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So the resultant will be. And again push the resultant into the stack. So 7 and 50 are available in stack. Last one star. Star. So pop the element 7. Pop the element 50, apply the calculation, so it is 350 and push back into the stack, push back into the stack, right, next, so this is an end character, right, this is the end character because that is the last character available in the postfix expression, so simply you can stop here and then remove the element from the stack which is the result. Right? So only one element is available in the stack that will be the result for this postfix expression. So 350 is the answer for this postfix expression. Okay, so here we have, we have seen uh, two applications. One is the conversion of infix expression to postfix expression and in, in today's session we have seen the evaluation of postfix expression. So how stack is involved in evaluation of postfix expression right so we will stop here in the next session we will go with the another third application that is uh, balancing of uh, delimiters for the parentheses that's also a very simple thing right so hope you understood these two applications of a stack so if you are having a uh, any doubts regarding this session uh, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions uh, like my sessions, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.